Well, we are uh, halfway through the month of January, and Christmas seems to be well past. And uh, I, I think that at this point, we have probably taken down our trees, we've put them out for recycling, we've taken the lights and the decorations down, we've put them back in the boxes and in the storage room or wherever you, you put your stuff uh, from season to season. And uh, we've kind of put this idea of Christmas well in the past. But as I've mentioned over the last couple of weeks, that's something that really concerns me. I think that Christmas is more than the baby in the manger. I think it's more than just shepherds in the fields and angels singing glory to God in the highest. I think all that is tremendous and it's all a part of how God orchestrated his plan to send his son Jesus to save us from our sins, but I think it's a much, much broader purpose. There is a much, much broader purpose in Christmas than just the baby in the manger. I think God does things on purpose. And we have mentioned over the last several weeks passages in the scripture like 1 John 4.10 where God sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. We looked at Jeremiah 1.5 where God called Jeremiah to preach for him even before he was born. God had purpose for Jeremiah. In Ephesians chapter 1, we saw that God had a purpose for us to make us whole and to make us holy. And then we looked at Isaiah chapter 46, where God said to Isaiah, I have a purpose for Israel, and I'm going to deliver them from the Babylonian captivity. And I'm going to accomplish my purposes. Well, another scripture that we might want to consider in thinking about this is found in the book of Galatians. I want to read this to you. It's Galatians chapter 1 and verses 3 through 5. It says, Grace to you and peace from God the Father. Here we're receiving something from God. Peace. He has a purpose. He wants to give us peace who gave himself for our sins to rescue us. God had a purpose in sending his son to give himself for us, to rescue us from our sins and from this present evil age, according, this is in line with God's purpose, to the will of God our Father. Well, he clearly states that his purpose in sending Jesus was to save us from our sins. And this is something I think we should be celebrating every day. I don't think we should just save it up and on December 25th pull out all the stops and have a big hoopla and celebrate the birth of Jesus. Though I think that's a tremendous thing to do, don't get me wrong. But I think God had much broader purposes in sending his son than just seeing the manger scene. Well, we've talked about this over the last couple of weeks. I want to continue to do that today, but by way of review so that we're all caught up on this, I think some of the purposes of Christmas that we've already talked about, and there are two of them, one of them was celebration. Christmas is something worth celebrating. It's worth celebrating because God loves you. It's worth celebrating because God is with you. We looked at the key word Emmanuel, God with us. And Christmas is worth celebrating because God is for you. You are important to him. He has your back. He loves you, he's with you, and he is for you. Well, the second purpose that we looked at was the purpose of salvation. And as we looked at that, we're, we were reminded that Jesus came to save us from our sins. We were also reminded that Jesus came to save us from the wrath to come. And then, if you remember from last week, we talked about the fact that Jesus came to sanctify you, to set you apart, to make you more like him every day. And that certainly is something worth celebrating. And that is all a part of God's purpose in sending his son, that baby in the manger. It's worth celebrating. He gave us something to celebrate for sure. But it's also our salvation. 
I reminded of Matthew chapter 1 where the angel came to Joseph and said, you'll call his name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. And so that's pretty awesome. And so today we're going to move on to another purpose of Christmas. And I'm sure if you took the time and you thought through all of the theology uh, surrounding the birth and the sacrifice and the resurrection of Jesus, you could find several purposes of Christmas. But we're just talking about these three right now for our time. The celebration, the salvation, and today, the third one, reconciliation. But before we get into our message, I have a song for you from the people of the earth. It's called Come to Jesus. I think it's very appropriate, and I think it certainly relates to the purposes that we have been talking about recently. So sit back, enjoy the music, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes, and we're going to talk about the purpose of reconciliation, God's purpose of Christmas for us. (laughs) 